Wabashwe ni wajo Goni wala ni wasuma Are there times that when the elites, you know, the people in political power in Nigeria, the rich people, which you all meet all the time, are there times that you're afraid that one day the, the poor could actually come out? I don't know about others, but me, I do. Yeah, I, do. I believe that one day if we're not careful. In fact, what we're doing, if you ask me, is not revolutionary. What we're doing, the seven of us and the rest governors who support us, is to save the ruling class from themselves. Because actually, we are, the way we are going, we are going, we are going to self destruct. It will be difficult to say because even in 2011, we, uh, we had a very uh, sour relationship, which I thought we had a meeting and resolved it. The president was present at the meeting, the wife was also present, and we agreed to work together. Uh, was it before the election or after? Before, the that, that's the point. It usually happens close to the election. That's when you start hearing an attempt to make peace. Uh, in 2011, that peace was made before the election. Uh, by 2012, when they procured uh, uh, my former chief of staff, uh, people are uh, claiming to be a, an expert in river state politics and uh, an expert in judiciary. So by 2011, we, we met and agreed to make peace. And then uh, after the election, it, uh, my assumption that that peace continued until it got to a point where uh, they had procured the Minister of State for Education, by the way, that I nominated, and the president continues to accuse me that I nominated him to, to serve on in his cabinet. Uh, uh, but don't forget that there has been attempt, several attempts by the wife to control the government of River State in all ramifications, not just political, but in, in economic, economical too. In, uh, I felt that uh, there are no two governors elected by River uh, you know That uh, argument that, oh, 2007 we didn't run an election, but 2011 I ran an election, and I overwhelmingly won that election. And therefore, the wife of the president cannot control the River State government because she was uh, uh, she's unelected. Well, she she tries to insist that I must tell her what I'm doing in government, and she she doesn't represent the river people. She's the wife of the president, and she, I can only respect her as the wife of the president and not as uh, uh, the senior partner to the river State government. I cannot. In fact, the other day, some senators went to see her, female senators. And she said to them, imagine me, I'm the highest ranking officer from River State. Uh, so when the senators told me, I said, uh, how highest ranking is she? Is she elected or was she appointed? Uh, she's the wife of the president, and I agree, to, I agree with that, and I respect her for that. Because if you don't respect the wife of the president for the sake of the president, then you're not being fair to the president. But uh, we can't allow her to run a democratic government. <music> No, that won't be that won't be right to say. It's in the it's in the, for the president to decide whether it's broken down irretrievably or not. But uh, so you are open to reconciliation. The type you have. There, there's nobody who uh, well not that type. I don't want the type of reconciliation we had in 2011, which was mainly to uh, ensure that he won election in River State. No. Yes, he, he has to go beyond that. If you, if you know me very well, you know that um, I'm a bit more polished than that to my So are you convinced that he actually won at seven percent? I believe so. I believe that he did. I believe so. If he wants to win that ninety something percent again, he has to show uh, the evidence of performance to reverse it. He has to show that uh, the Calabari oil wells that they have taken have to be returned to the Calabari people. He has to show that the Ogoni Unity Road that was awarded by Obasanjo and abandoned uh, would have been concluded. And that Ogoni, no, not Ogoni Unity Road, is the Bodo, Bonnie Road that goes to Bonnie. It has to show that uh, the Portacot Oweri Road, which was done by me, he has refunded the money. It has to show that the Portacot Abar Road, which I'm doing, that the money is refunded. He has to show evidence of having performed in River State. And uh, we're here to see that our airport is abandoned. 
And the reason for abandoning our airport by the aviation minister is because uh, I mean, she's not supporting the president. But she denies it two days ago that she didn't abandon the airport. <laughs> okay, it was started at the same time as Cross River, that's Calabar. Enugu, <coughs> excuse me. Enugu Airport, Lagos Airport, uh, Abuja Airport, Kano Airport, Benin. All these have been completed. <laughs> so why is Portacourt Airport not completed? I don't know when last you flew to Portacourt. If I, I, I'm going to arrive Portacourt on, uh, well, I don't have to say that, but I will soon get to Portacourt. Maybe I need to take a photograph of the airport and send to you. That would be, no, be great. I'll send it to you so you can see whether it's abandoned or not. Even the tarmac in Abuja, and where you have the, the, the private jets, the tarmac there was at the same time as the tarmac in Portacourt, the extension of the tarmac. That of Portacourt is abandoned, overgrown by weeds and grasses. But uh, the one of Abuja has been completed. The, we paid for uh, two helicopters for surveillance, for security purposes. The federal government approved it. For the helicopter to come in, she also refused. And that helicopter will aid in not just kidnapping, armed robbery, and others. It will also aid in finding out those who are stealing oil. So if, if the federal government say they are fighting oil theft, then they need to bring in the helicopter. Because you will see it. It's not that one person will see it anymore. Everybody will see it. So you will identify those who are stealing oil. But she's refused to let that helicopter come in. Complete impunity. The level of impunity in this government is frightening. Because even Abacha, that everybody accuses of uh, uh, being very... Uh, run a very uh, yes, it's not as, it's not as uh, bad as, as uh, when currently witnessing. I've spoken to the president on several occasions. There's nothing I'm saying here today. I've not told the president. There's what is usually his reaction when you tell most times he say he doesn't know about them, including what the commissioner of police is doing in River State. Okay, tell me, you employed thirteen thousand teachers. There is nowhere, not even the office of the governor, that you can assemble 13,000 teachers and, and give, uh, uh, give them their letter of uh, employment. Now, the Commissioner for Education then directed the ministry staff to go to the stadium and issue the letter of uh, employment. And what the Commissioner for Police would do is to go to Tiagas, 13,000 teachers. Now, he claims there are 18,000. I don't know where he got the 18 from. When they told me this, I said it's good for us. At least why, what makes it good is that the public now knows that I actually employed 13,000 teachers. Maybe we wouldn't have been able to let the public know that we employed 13,000 teachers. But you can see how callous and careless he is. And then yeah, the story about his uh, redeployment from Oyo to River State was done by the wife of the president. And the wife of the president is not the chief of, uh, uh, not the commander in chief. She's the wife of the president. She has no right to instruct the. Uh, Inspector General of Police to post somebody from uh, Oyo to River State, but she did that, and nobody's nobody spoke. My, my worry is the country. Nigerians Nigeria are not responding to the fact that <coughs> this is a test run for uh, how the federal government will use police in 2015 election. I didn't. I did not support those who were against the oil subsidy on the name of Occupy Nigeria because at two point three trillion, you need to remove the oil subsidy. If they stole two point three, subsidies were not being applied to oil subsidy. They were stolen. That's the point I'm making. That's why the governor said no. They must remove oil subsidy because in the name of oil subsidy, the people are still suffering. You're still buying fuel at one or something uh, naira. And then somebody is taking two point something trillion. But can you see the reason why people are saying, look, if you are giving subsidy to your friends? It's not coming to us. Now, if you will really apply subsidy, then it will come But to it will not be applied. Last year, subsidy was 1.1 trillion. That's 2012. Exactly. In 2011, it was 2.3 trillion. Only God knows how much it will be in 2013, now that the governor's forum is fashionalized. Yeah. Do you understand? When the governor's forum was there... but the point again is that the fact that it is removed doesn't mean that it Will not keep no, 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 no. The moment you say you have removed oil subsidy, then the governors will confront the president that why is um, our money still being spent in the name of oil subsidy? You can't continue. The stealing won't continue. But, but are you able to confront him on the stealing that we did. depletion of, on, for example? The, we, we, we are in court with the federal government on oil subsidy. Uh -huh. We are in court. The governor's forum is in court with the federal government on oil subsidy. We are in court with the federal government on the management of excess crude. What else do people want from us? 
Well, maybe people sometimes want you to be like the governors of South American countries that actually lead revolutionary movements. Well, I mean, of course, can lead. Uh, see what I'm suffering for being the only. Vo <laughs> only well, well now there are more voices. You can hear the canoes. You can hear canoes. People. You can hear Kano say governor speaking, you hear uh, the governor of uh, uh, Jigawa speaking, you hear the governor of Niger speaking. It was interesting. Before, I was almost uh, like the lone voice, and uh, uh, the president could do whatever he wanted to do to me because I was the little, lone voice. And so when people say we're not speaking, in this government, the governors are the people speaking for the people. Well, I, I don't know if the people will agree with you, but let me quickly ask you. The don't you agree with me that I've been, I've been the voice that everybody's heard? Well, yeah, of course, this is not about me. About yeah, the but of the people having the confidence that you know these governors can actually take us. I, I don't know about the governors. I, I must have myself now okay. because there must be an arrowhead, yeah. and the governors speak through the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, and we've been speaking. The governors have been speaking. I think you should ask the minister for uh, finance whether we are broke or not. But I can tell you clearly, in, in July, the River State government was we paid 19 billion. We are paid 15, 14. That's so, the yes. So, outstanding to River State government is still five billion. We have not received any money in August. This is end of September when we are supposed to receive September. So, for two months plus, two months and some change, we are yet to receive money. So, but it's for you. Are you meeting your monthly obligations? Well, I hope that some. I hope that some government will, will not be will not uh, find it difficult to pay salary. Why, how we are managing? First, it's difficult for us at the, at the at River State government level. But we have IGR as the internally generated revenue, so we are managing to pay salaries. We are, and our, our wage bill is uh, was 8.9 billion. With this, uh, one, 13,000 teachers we've employed, it will rise to 19 uh, to 9.9 uh, 9 billion. It's going to be huge on us. <music> It will. It will be resolved at the end of the 2015 election. It will, be, it will be resolved at the end of the 2015 election because I'm sure the reason for which the president went after us was to ensure that no, we don't, he doesn't have a strong opposition from the governors because we became the only opposition and the mouthpiece of the people. But you know, the 20 of us or 19 of us on one side, we are still speaking. Uh, so yeah. you still talk to yourselves? Yeah, of course. Uh, including you and uh, Patrick? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, were, we were together in a meeting the other day in the, in the villa. Uh -huh. So the last meeting at the villa, what, what did the president say to you when we saw you? Well, no, I, I hope you know he's the president of the country, and he's also my president, and therefore he's also he, our president. Yes, that's the point I'm making. So he can't, you don't assume that when we go for to any meeting, the president will say I won't speak to this man. No, if he says to you, then remind him he's my president. He's, he, don't forget that he has to govern me the way he governs other people. So it's not as if when we go to meetings, the president will say no, no, I don't want to even respond to my chief's greetings. No, no, he's much, much, much more mature than that. Before we talk about uh, my student union background, let's talk about whether I'm stubborn. Because I put it before the public. Uh, I put it, put it in the public domain that when you stand on principles, people call you stubborn. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if I stand on the principle of, look, I won't support um, massive looting, I won't support uh, uh, the mismanagement of SS crude account and all that, that doesn't make me stubborn. It just makes me a good supporter of the president. Just what I'm doing is call the attention of the president to what his uh, subordinates in government are doing. My assumption is that the president doesn't know because the president is a very busy man. So if the president doesn't know, it's important that he has a lieutenant. When I say lieutenant, not vice president. When lieutenant is somebody who supports him to let him know the kind of damage that has been done to our economy. And as I continue to say this, is you see the level of damage to our, to our economy, the, the high level of unemployment. In 1970, the uh, rate of poverty was 30%. Now it's 70%. I was in a meeting with her, and when I said 70%, she said, no, 68%. <laughs> and I said, what's the difference between 68 and 70? <laughs> There's no difference. It's like when I said to them that uh, the life expectancy for uh, Nigerian men is uh, 45 and women 47. They said, oh, no, it has changed. It's now 47 for men and 48 for women. So what's the difference? If you die at 45 and you die at 47, what's the difference? So, so you talked about my students in your background. Yeah, and I'd say first to you that you know, I'm not stubborn. I'm just a principled man. Okay. Now, when you talk about uh, my students, yes, I was a student leader I was, uh, when I was in school. I, comp I contested for, the, for NAS presidency 
against Chimo, uh, Chima Obane. Wow. And yes. Uh, yes, the only reason why he won, don't forget that then, then it was, Nance was Nance. We used to have what they call Marxist movement of Nigeria. Yeah. Whoever will emerge as Nance president will first go to the Marxist, Marxist movement of Nigeria for screening. It is there they decide who they will support. So I competed against Jim Obane, and they decided that he should be the president because they felt that the University of Nigeria Soka was bigger than the University of Portacourt. And uh, then we supported Chima. That's how Chima, uh, Chima Obane emerged. And that our team, you had Chris Mama, you had uh, Larry Adogunade, you had uh, Emei Zazo, you had then Chima Obane and others. We were quite a large group. No, no, no. By the time I got into the university, the president had left. It was among the first team, the first people that I got so into the university. So it's true that he graduated with a PhD from? Yes, yes, so yes, I've yes. I've never seen his thesis. I've never searched for it. But the university has never denied that he graduated from the University of Port Harcourt. Okay. Why? Is there any attempt to question that? We, we, we can't seem to locate his thesis. Well, go to the university. If you can't locate it, go to the we university. We have to call the university, but, you know, maybe you can help us find it, just as you want to send us pictures of... Uh, no, 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 I can tell you that the, the president was an, an ex-student of University of Portacourt. I can say that to, to you. No, nobody should try to impugn the president's academic character. Yes. They gave me a huge amount of money. That the person gave you money. Who is the person? You said you didn't even know who the person was, according to the passion of the story. Oh, no, 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 no. I said that before in my testimony to the role God played in my life. No, not the person, but I said I wanted the person. But he never gave me 500 million. Okay. <laughs> you can. How much did you uh, no, that's private. The person doesn't want me to let anybody know. It was so bad that we couldn't pay for uh, this kids We are then nine years. She came about Obi now was nine years uh, at that time. I couldn't pay their school fees. They were living in one room and they were very worried and all that. And uh, so while I was praying one day, I cried out to God. I pleaded with God to listen to my prayers. And I called the person's name. I said, This is my friend and he's very rich. God kindly help me to get money from this man and uh, by 12 midnight uh, 12 30 he called me that same day when i was praying as i praying at 12 at 12 30 he called me and uh ah, Michi, how are you yes i'm fine how are you managing i said things are challenging or better put difficult where are you i'm in ghana uh, i said i can't even pay the children's school fees nor can i pay my lawyers neither can i pay my lawyers and he said okay okay uh, i will see i'll get to you on monday uh, actually, uh, he was in America. He was trying to get back to Nigeria and pay some money into my account. Uh, by by Friday, he had returned instead of the Monday and paid some money into my account. It turned out to be that by Monday when I got to him, the money was in my account. How long between then was did you become governor? Mm, less than a month, or if not a month. Did you feel like he knew that? No, 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 he didn't know. No, he didn't. In all honesty, he didn't know whether I would win or not. Yeah. All he was doing was just support me in pursuit of my of my of justice. <laughs> or maybe you don't know me. <laughs> Tell me, I dare him to reveal. But you know, I don't want to discuss Wiki. He's such a, a young boy that I don't discuss. Don't make me discuss Wiki. Yeah. When, Have when you ever seen me respond when, to him? When did you meet him? When did you? Know? I don't want to discuss Wiki. You know, so the, so the people, people are claiming that he's a star. I helped to make Wiki chairman of council. They couldn't run the council election in his, his local government. I had to go to physically campaign his local government area. Then that, that man suddenly, after how many years, now claims to be the star of the state politics. We we'll wait until 2015. Can we discuss more important issues and not things on Wiki? Yeah, but not, not, not with things on let him pick his ticket, let him pick it, be whatever ticket he likes, whether PDP, anybody, let him, we'll meet at the battlefield. I was trying to remember my discussion with my son. Uh, he said to me he's, um, that he believes in determinism. Uh, determinism, as everything on earth has been determined by God. <laughs> and I joke with him, I say, well, you don't need to eat, just go to your room and lie down. God will put the food in your mouth. But the truth is, uh, why do you discuss 2015 now that it's 2013? Why not you wait and see whether I will run or not? Well, if everything is politics now. Everything is about 2015, as you know. Mm, so let's wait. I mean, and, and, the, and the truth is that there would, have, would not have been talking about 2015 today if the president did not uh, interfere with the process of electing a new uh, chairman of the Governors Forum. If he had kept away, 
if the president had kept away from that election, today there would have been peace in Nigeria. So you believe that he was behind the crisis? He has never denied it. At the last meeting we, we had, it came, the issue came up. While Ababio was denying it, he, uh, I reminded Mr. President that he spoke with me and confirmed that he did, he participated. He said he did, that he won't deny it, that he did. He did canvass for support for Shema, and that he told governors, he called governors, showed them uh, a video recording. Uh, that has to do with my speech on the oil well that was taken from uh, Soku to Bayesa and said that he therefore told them that if I win, he will never work with me. The president confirmed that in the meeting. And then, he co even though he confirmed it in the last meeting we had, he had already spoken to me about it in the course of our peace uh, meetings. I hope so. I hope so. Like I said, all that will leave in the hands of the president and God. Mm. If the president wants to make peace, we'll be uh, we're available. But it has to be peace. It doesn't have to be look like the 2011 peace that was made because we are running an election. So there's now also two factions of uh, the People's Democratic. Yeah, there are two factions. Yes. One led by Baraji, uh, and that's the one I belong to, yeah. and the other led by Mamanga Tuko. Yeah, we can the public rely on your faction, the new PDP, to continue, you know, without joining the old PDP. You know, like, you know how in Nigeria you guys will fight for a while and sometimes people think it's a distraction actually to take them away from... Well, but, well, won't you people praise us that we've sustained this battle from January? Okay, put it this way. By God's grace, I've sustained this battle from January. Then the governors, the other governors joined me along, somewhere along the line and uh, because they felt this is the time to fight for Nigeria. Look, you know, this fight is not about us. We are governors. And I don't know how many of us have ambition. We have never discussed who will be president or who does not want to be president or vice president or minister. Or, no way. What we've discussed is Nigeria, that we, 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 are, we are change agents. We can work for the president tomorrow if he puts on the table a change agenda that we're sure he will implement. And what would that be? I don't know. He has to tell us how to manage this economy differently from the way it is being managed. He has to show us how to increase the employment listen, for people. People are suffering. People are dying. I don't see how I can be a governor and watch my citizens die. You, you get that? I don't see why we can be an oil-producing country and people are actually starving. We have to see on the table how to minimize corruption. We have to see all that. So when you see these seven governors talk, we're talking, we talking change. We're not talking about... We're not interested in who becomes president. It could be president. We're not Jonathan. We're prepared to support him, but we must see a change agenda. I want to discuss Wiki, but first, I don't like money. You don't. No, no. If you, anybody who has followed me will tell you that this man doesn't like money. But you bought a jet. Oh, well, for confidence sake, I'm able to, uh, not just confidence, for me, able to, for me to be able to discharge my responsibilities. See how many times I go to Abuja? How many times? A lot of times. I have to go there to do some other things. And, and I have to go to other states and all that. And the state could afford it. Because it costs more for you to fly and return than just buy a jet. But like I said, I don't want to discuss Wiki. Can we move forward? Uh, let's not talk so much. Have you been able to move around more frequently even now that the jet has been We We there? still move around. Okay. You know, what's funny about the whole, the whole thing is that there's so much panic in the uh, Nigerian Air Management Authority or so. Is it, uh, is it airport or whatever it is? NAMA. They even monitor my movement. In the air? Yeah, for the, for the, for the federal government. They do and keep record of all sorts of things that one becomes a bit frightened that they don't kill me. Then the, the, the second uh, thing is sometimes you want to fly, they delay the aircraft on the tarmac just because of me. In fact, there was one day a white man, a white pilot flew us from Lagos to Abuja. He didn't understand what was going on, but we, we did understand. We were left at the tarmac for nearly 30 minutes, one hour. So when we got to the air, uh, Abuja, uh, he said, please, I apologize. I've never experienced this thing before. I'm sorry that I had to delay you. I said, don't worry, I understand. <laughs> but you didn't understand that. Uh, because I have suffered it in so many other uh, airlines uh, that I knew they were doing that deliberately to frustrate me and frustrate, frustrate the poor pilot. So, moving forward, we spoke to Pastor, uh, Pastor Parker recently, and he said they might not even be Mm, okay, well, he's a priest. I'm not. <laughs> so he must be that, you know, prophesying. All the symptoms of desperation and the politics of hatred and bitterness and acrimony within the ruling party, within Nigerian society itself, you know, terrorism, 
in America saying kidnapping, all of these things we come together to truncate you know, the election if we're not careful. And you put that against the prediction by an American think tank in the, in the, in the office of, uh, in, within the security circle here, that Nigeria may actually break up by the end of 2015. What, 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 what are you seeing? What do you think will happen? I don't know. I have no comment on that, uh, but I pray it doesn't break up. I think that Nigeria should come, up, come out strongly from this. And one way to do that is that Nigeria must unite to elect a president that can move this country forward. And when I say United elect a president that can move this country forward, I'm talking about a Nigerian president who won't look at him from south or from north and from south. You know, it's a red culture that makes us say to, to people that uh, this man is uh, uh, a south-south president, a southwest president, a southeast president, a northwest president. We'll have to be, we're looking for a Nigerian president. <music> The way it is constituted now, I think Jega can do a good job, but the president must let him. The president must also let Nigerians know that uh, he will not use police. But what he's currently doing in River State is to apply police to, to achieve his objective. But what, is, what should people do to get on the lookout to ensure that... Yeah, but there, ma there must be mass action. There must be mass action. I continue to say what? people must come out of the street. You see, one thing about Nigeria is the moment they see the police and the army, they run away. And that's because most of the people who come out actually are not poor people. They are rich men or rich men's children who want to enjoy themselves. The day the poor hit the street, then all of us will be on the run. All of you will be on the run. Yeah, yeah. including you. Yeah, I, you're, you're, you're already on the run, so you're in America here. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> so, but seriously, you know, are there times that when the elites, you know, the people in political power in Nigeria, the rich people, which you all meet all the time, are there times that you're afraid that one day, the, the poor could actually come out. I don't know about others, but me, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. I believe that one day, if we're not careful. But what we're doing, if you ask me, is not revolutionary. What we're doing, the seven of us and the rest governors who support us, is to save the ruling class from themselves. Because actually, we are, the way we are going, we are going, we are going to self destruct. Uh, or, the way we are going, the people will rise up one day and come after us. Do you think other people are worried about no, I don't know. I've never had that discussion. I know people are worried about the way the country is going. But I don't know whether they are worried to the point that they, there, will be, there could be a revolution by the poor. Yeah. You know, nobody knew that what happened in, in Tunisia would happen because Tunisia was a police state. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. Yeah. But it took the burning of one person. Mm -hmm. Yes. That got, got Tunisia to where it is now. You know, people will say, oh, Nigeria. Just like they say, no, but Nigerians can't kill themselves. Yeah. And today we are witnessing uh, two cyber bombing. It's already, it's already resurrected. It is, and you know what we used to curb it was the Nigerian police. Now that police has been taken out of our control and handed over to people on the street. You know the problem with the Nigerian police in Portacot is that it is not only just so wicked that is controlling it. It's not only Mrs. Good Lord Jonathan that is controlling it. There are people on the street who also are controlling. Uh, Mbu. Mm. That's the point. So do you, do you think that there should be state police in view of... Oh, that, of course. We, we, we th I think so. I think but so. do you think that it could also be subject to abuse? That the governors could use the police to go after their own enemies. The same with the president is doing now. No, no. Why, why, why to be difficult for individual governors to use the state police uh, or abuse the state police is that it will be by the law of the National Assembly not the law of the state assembly, which means if you abuse it, then the, the national assembly has the right to amend the law to check the excesses of the governor. It's not like the Nigerian police that is co that put there in the constitution, which makes it difficult for anybody to manage the current situation that we are suffering in the hands of the president. Yeah. So when you see the IG come out and say, oh, the reason why we don't support uh, uh, state police is because it will be abused by the governors. He's only saying that give us the right to abuse <laughs> the federal police. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 two young men were arrested in Port Harcourt by, by uh, uh, the Nigerian police from Port Harcourt to Abuja just because uh, the member of the five, the group of five members of the house petitioned against him. You know that the Abuja court has no jurisdiction. You take five, two persons from Port Harcourt to Abuja, lock them off for two months.
I was there. I'm not, I'm not denying that I wasn't there. But I saved the situation. My going there saved the situation. Because when I got there first, the, I met two categories of people. Members of the house that were using metal, iron on their fellow members. Well, no, there's no video of that. Yeah, because I, I came, when I came, I came in with camera. Don't forget that whenever I move, I move with press team. Okay. Now, and then we had men with guns. So once I came with soldiers and police, they all ran away. Right? Now, they had brought in a fake mace. Don't forget I was the speaker. It is that fake mace that the, major, the leader of the house used on, on uh, Chinda. Don't forget. Now, who prepared that fake mace? Because if it was our own mace, Chinda would have died. Our mace is built up of metal. So Chinda would have died. But regardless, that was, a, that was a heavy object, you know. It would cringe. When that thing was happening. No, 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 no. I did. If you listen to very well, you would have heard when I said to, when I said, uh, when I said, please take him to the hospital. Take him to, I said, I, even my, my ADC had the fracture because he was trying to protect him. Your ADC is said to be on the run. Where is it? He? He's in the hospital in, the, in, the, in Paris. The police is just being funny. And the IG knows about it. I did speak to the IG. And I, and, declared, you know, well, too bad, too bad. That's, because, that's abuse of power now. I spoke with the IG and I said, my ADC, when he returns from the hospital, will report to your office. He said, okay. Then a few months or a few weeks after, uh, Mbo declares him wanted. So did they change your security? Yes. They removed a lot. I don't have an ADC, I don't have a CSO. They've withdrawn so many policemen. They've withdrawn all policemen from the commissioners. So. Yeah. Do you feel safe? I feel unsafe. I just know that they want to kill me. They are doing two things, yes. And, and under the watch of the president and the inspector general police, they are doing two things. They are trying to intimidate the river society so that they can rig election. And then, two, they are trying to intimidate me and expose me to danger. Let's wait. I will be able to answer the question. Uh, there are a lot of factors that, you put, that, we have, that need to be put in place for you to answer that question. We have all talk about the factors. The factors include performance. But you are not convinced that he's performed very well. I, I didn't make any comment on that. Includes likability. He like was ability. yes. He was very liked in 2011. So you need to check whether that is still in place. Okay. Uh, and then the candidate running against him. The acceptability of the candidate running against him. There are so many you factors. Know of any of them? No, I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea. You're not running against him. I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say that. So what brought you to New York? That's another uh, aspect. Uh, we have an award night that uh, we have an award night in uh, New Jersey. Actually, I came into New York because I needed to appear on this uh, television. Well, we have an award night on Saturday in New Jersey, and then we will we'll unveil the World Book Capital here in America. Because, okay. like you know, uh, Portacota has been declared the World Book Capital for 2014, okay. the first in Sub-Saharan Africa. Well, what does that entail? Well, it's an acknowledgement of what we have, our contributions in education. You know, well, since we've been speaking, I've been looking at those people who have been uh, contending with me. They've never said to the public that we have not performed. Mm -hmm. They acknowledge the fact that we've done well in education. Uh, they acknowledge the fact that we've done well in health. They acknowledge the fact that we've done well in power, in so many sectors. Now, you can even see that uh, those who criticize us even drive on the roads we built. Uh, it makes me proud to know that even the enemies will use what, uh, what infrastructures that we've put in place. So one of the things they say is that, that Amishi likes too much you know, propaganda, media. You know, and you say you go around with media people. No, all governors go with media. Oh, yeah. Even the president goes, even the president is one of so the... But I like propaganda. No, yes. I'm, I'm media shy. Because they say it's the reason why you I am media shy. I actually saw you one night wearing white, you know, and having this conversation with uh, the police community. The police who blocked you from... Yeah, but was that, is that propaganda? No, I understand. Like, uh -huh. But is that propaganda? Did the police not block you? you come out of your car, as opposed to allowing your guys... No, they tried, they refused. Oh, yeah. They, my people, before, I could, before I came down, I know that my people have tried... You know what the police commissioner did? He arrested the, the outrider for coming through, the, through that road. It's only after my people tried and failed that I came down to say, in case you don't know, my name is Chibike Rotimi Amechi. I'm the governor of Paper State. Can I go into my residence? And they say, no, that is an order from above. And who is above? Mr. President. Wow. Well, 
Well, Governor Ruth Mayor, thanks for coming to Sarah TV. And um, we mm -hmm. hope uh, when you're ready to talk about 2015, we get to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll be glad. I'll be glad. When you, when you no, 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 not that I should stay safe. Beg Mr. President to ensure that I'm not killed because I'm sure they are planning towards that. I'm sure they're watching you, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appeal to the President to make sure that. I have, I have said that. Camera, camera. I've said that. Okay, Mr. President should ensure that the governor of Paper State is not killed either by Mbu or the. Uh, or oh, his guys. Exactly. Or by the. Or by the wife. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs>